recently announced the estimation of a maiden lithium resource at the company's McDermott Lithium Project in the US. On the back of last week's great news on an upgraded exploration target range there, here's some of what he had to say. High on the parched tablelands, where Nevada yields to Oregon, the earth stretches wide and bare, horizons rimmed by wind-carved sage and the hush of distant pronghorn threading the dawn. What appears at first glance as a remote, tranquil wilderness conceals a hidden legacy. This is the McDermott Caldera. Uh, but yeah, we've got a very solid uh, uh, inferred resource at McDermott uh, with a, you know, a couple of important features being that it's all in, in one um, location. The lingering scar of an eruption immeasurable by human scales, a memory inscribed in ash and stone. For decades, the caldera has lingered mostly in obscurity, its rim visited by few beyond geologists or the watchful eyes of ranchers. But now, discoveries of global significance have drawn the world's attention to this ancient volcanic basin. Lithium deposit in northern Nevada may be the largest in the world. It's located next to the Thacker Pass mine, not far from the Nevada-Oregon border. In 2025, it is not simply the allure of mineral riches beneath these plains that kindles debate, but also questions about the dormant forces resting below. Modern researchers mapping the caldera's geology warn that McDermott's saga is not a finished tale. Vast lithium deposits have been verified, promising untapped fortunes and spurring a rush among miners and investors. But as scientific teams core deeper into ancient volcanic layers, a chorus of concern grows. Is there more to this purportedly silent landscape than meets the eye? Do we fully understand the power or the hazards contained in the fractured crust? What forces lie dormant here? and what price could come with their disturbance? Could the McDermott Caldera, quiet for millennia, transform from an overlooked relic into a fulcrum, balancing opportunity with risk, renewal with potential ruin? The world's hunger for rare metals may edge us closer to awakening perils deeper than we imagine. The Forgotten Giant, uncovering McDermott's volcanic legacy. What makes McDermott even more compelling in 2025 is not only its explosive past, but its strategic relevance in today's rapidly shifting world. Beneath its volcanic remnants lies one of the richest lithium deposits in North America, a direct result of the very processes that once devastated the landscape. As volcanic glass and rhyolitic ash were altered over millions of years by hydrothermal fluids, and weathering. Lithium was gradually concentrated in ancient lake beds formed within the collapsed caldera. These deposits are now the focus of intense geological surveys and commercial exploration, placing McDermott at the crossroads of global energy transition and resource security. Modern satellite mapping, magnetotelluric studies, and isotopic geochemistry have revealed intricate details about the structure of the caldera floor. Ancient ring fractures, now buried beneath layers of sediment, trace the outline of a once bursting magma chamber over 25 miles wide. Pumice fragments, pyroclastic flows, and volcanic breaches still litter the region, offering scientists a chance to reconstruct the sequence and scale of the eruption that carved this vast scar into the earth. Even more intriguingly, some researchers believe McDermott is not an isolated feature, but part of a larger volcanic corridor linked to hotspot migration across the Great Basin. Its formation may represent a critical evolutionary step in the volcanic story of the American West, one that bridges older, deeply eroded calderas with more youthful systems to the east. And while no modern seismic or magmatic activity suggests McDermott will erupt again, it serves as a geological Rosetta Stone, a frozen moment of planet-scale violence captured in stone. For volcanologists, it's a case study in supervolcano anatomy. For environmental planners, it's a lithium treasure chest. And for the wider public, it's a forgotten titan, quiet now, but once capable of remaking the sky. Veins of fire, the lithium lure, 
and Earth's sleeping riches. In 2025, the McDermott Caldera has vaulted to global significance, not because of present volcanic activity, but due to its staggering lithium reserves. Assessments confirm that the McDermott Lithium Project holds a resource of 21.5 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent, placing it among the world's largest known deposits. Additional studies suggest the total resource could reach up to 40 million metric tons, drawing global industry, policymakers, and investors into energetic debate about extraction. To government agencies and energy companies, McDermott represents a potential pillar for the emerging green economy. The lithium beneath its soils may fuel decades of electric vehicle and battery production, reducing dependency on foreign supplies. Logistics, how to extract, refine, and ship lithium from this remote borderland to sprawling North American battery plants have become matters of national interest. International observers follow the caldera's fate closely, understanding that control over such a resource could influence the shifting geopolitics of energy. The geological story that led to this wealth is rare. Unlike South America's salt flats or Australia's hard rock spodumene mines, McDermott's lithium is hosted in volcanic clay formed from the same ancient volcanic glass and tuff that blanketed the region after its super eruption. Over millions of years, ground and surface water altered these minerals, concentrating lithium in dense deposits of hectorite and other clay-rich seam. Extracting lithium from clay is technologically complex, requiring novel chemical processes and raising concerns about efficient water usage, environmental protection, and management of mining byproducts. Unlike many traditional mines, the footprint here could impact not only bedrock, but also fragile hydrology and habitats, prompting worldwide scrutiny. Can McDermott's mineral bounty be tapped sustainably, avoiding the environmental damage seen elsewhere? For ranchers, conservationists, and indigenous residents whose ties to the land are generational, such prospects evoke urgency. The region supports pronghorn and sage grouse, species already pressured by climate extremes, drought, and fire. Large-scale mining could fragment key migration corridors and alter water flows critical to wildlife and human communities alike. Scientists emphasize that while risks of seismic catastrophe or volcanic renewal appear low, since hazardous systems lie miles below, deep disturbance or mishandling could still trigger pollution, subtle hydrological shifts, or localized hazards. Past mining in similar volcanic settings has occasionally released pockets of gas or polluted water, reminding all stakeholders of the need for vigilance. Local stories echo the scientific caution. Small springs have shifted and minor ground rumblings are not unknown. Quirks, perhaps, but also gentle reminders of a complex living system shaped by its cataclysmic past. As mining scales up, the potential for new surprises grows. Will the rush for lithium awaken only economic opportunity, or could it also expose deeper vulnerabilities buried beneath our ambitions? Catastrophe's blueprint, eruption, echoes, and dangerous forces. Each caldera offers a testament to Earth's violence and its long afterlife. McDermott's volcanic arc, its thick ridges of ignimbrite, and intricate subsurface geology records a past of extraordinary energy release. Today, advanced satellite mapping and ground surveys show not only visible scars, but also subtle structures, concentric faults, volcanic domes, and fractures that delineate the caldera's traumatic birth and evolution. These structures, seen globally in comparable settings, often provide crucial insights for Earth scientists. While McDermott shows no present danger of eruption, Geological surveys continue to monitor ground deformation, detect thermal anomalies, and measure faint, persistent micro-seismicity. Such observation is routine in dormant caldera systems as they can signal water movement, gas migration, or changes in subsurface pressure. Recent research has also unearthed a broader context, powerful tectonic forces behind the rise and fall of continental crust across North America. Studies suggest the hidden engines that fueled McDermott's formation are related to those shaping the basin 
and range, stretching, faulting, and uplifting land over eons. By examining magnetic and gravity anomalies beneath McDermott, geophysicists glean clues about the complex interplay of volcanism and tectonics. Yet, the scientific consensus is clear. While the caldera's super eruption altered the land forever, the energies that powered it have largely dissipated into the deep, insulated crust. Subsurface monitoring continues out of diligence, not because eruption is likely, but because patterns seen elsewhere remind us that dormant fields can change subtly over decades and centuries. The question remains, is there any potential, however remote, for renewed volcanic or tectonic unrest? The prevailing view is that seismic and volcanic risks at McDermott are low, given the caldera's age and depth. But with mining machines poised to delve further than at any point in living memory, scientists advocate for continued monitoring, recognizing that old wounds, though healed, may still respond to dramatic new interventions. Hazards unseen, gases, waters, and the silent migration of danger. While McDermott's profile grows by virtue of its lithium, the land itself harbors quieter risks. Even ancient volcanic systems can host sealed pockets of gas or fluids, trapped beneath thick layers of clay and tuff. Across the American West, modern sensors have detected low-level emissions of gases, carbon dioxide, sulfur compound from soils and faults thought long dormant. In McDermott, the ancient volcanic layers and their mineralized clays create natural barriers, but the possibility remains that deep excavation, drilling, or chemical leaching could, in places, breach these barriers and release gases or mineral-rich water. There is precedent in volcanic basins for localized events, brief increases in spring minerals, minor degassing, or water chemistry shifts. Local concern is heightened by the region's reliance on shallow wells and springs for water, resources filtered through volcanic gravels that support both people and the high desert's uniquely adapted species. While no major contamination events have been recorded here, mining operations inevitably pose some risk. Experts warn that careful hydrogeological studies, ongoing water chemistry tracking, and robust mitigation protocols are essential to guard against unseen dangers accumulating and emerging quietly over time. There is broad agreement among geologists that catastrophic threats like tsunamis or major earthquakes are not relevant at McDermott given its structural geology and the depth of hazardous zones. The real hazards are subtler, gradual increases in certain minerals, trace metal leaching, or persistent though low-level gas emissions. Left unmonitored, such changes might first affect springs or the delicate interplay that sustains rare flora and fauna through Nevada's enduring droughts. The deepest risks are the most difficult to see, the migration of gases or contaminants beneath the surface. Patterns in ash, the caldera in the web of continental forces. To place McDermott within the larger geological fabric of the West, scientists have mapped the region's lineage. A web of volcanic chains, dormant calderas, and rift basins revealing patterns of ancient eruption and uplift. From Arizona's volcanic fields to the Rocky Mountain margins, these landscapes bear witness to the restless migration of the continent's crust. McDermott is not an isolated quirk, but an integral node. Its formation, synchronizing with a period of widespread continental stretching and magmatic upheaval across Nevada and beyond. Recent advances in geophysical imaging show that its buried volcanic centers and mineral anomalies align with tectonic processes stretching over hundreds of miles. The caldera provides a vital reference point for understanding how past cycles of volcanism have created and shaped the region's terrain, mineralogy, and long-term evolution. Elsewhere in the American West, researchers have recently identified signs that supposedly dormant caldera complexes may still pulse with hidden activity. Minor ground swelling, localized tremors, slow movement of fluids, and gases through fractured rocks. In each case, ongoing monitoring and study have been critical to distinguishing normal background changes from signs of potential unrest. For McDermott, such findings underline the importance of humility and attentiveness. 
While scientific judgment places it among the least likely of Northwest calderas to see renewed volcanic activity, its geology builds a case for careful stewardship. Is McDermott a mere fossil, its era of danger closed forever? Or is it, as history warns, a landscape whose apparent silence is only a pause between chapters? For those whose livelihoods now intermingle with its mineral seams, the answer shapes how risks and riches are weighed. Edge of the unknown, resurgence, risk, and the shadow of change. As lithium exploration accelerates, the McDermott region finds itself at a crossroads. Community voices, ranchers, tribal members, conservationists, and miners debate what the future should look like. Some see promise in technological jobs and economic revitalization. Others, drawing from memories of drought, wildfires, and the unintended consequences of past resource booms, raise urgent warnings. The broader American Southwest offers instructive reminders. While the risk of large earthquake or eruption near McDermott is low, there are numerous records elsewhere of human disturbance, deep drilling, groundwater extraction, mining, unleashing subtler environmental changes. In some locale, previously unknown gas pockets have been breached or ground movement patterns have shifted, surprising communities and challenging regulatory practices. Decisions made at McDermott will become an influential test case. Will industrial scale mining coexist with the arid rangeland and wildlife? Or will the land's delicate equilibrium be tipped? British pronghorn herds, migratory birds, and unique high desert flora all depend on the region's undisturbed rhythms. Locals point out that disruption in one part of the ecosystem can ripple outward, altering water tables, migration paths, and the viability of small ranches whose futures are entwined with the land. Scientists and environmental planners advocate for caution. Rigorous monitoring networks, transparent reporting, and adaptive management plans that respond swiftly to early warning signs of ecological or geological disturbance. The whispering land on the threshold of revelation. Now, as dusk settles over the McDermott Basin, and the world looks with new intensity at this singular, stony crescent, the greatest questions only sharpen. For all the drilling and mapping, the sensors and core samples, some truths remain elusive. The McDermott caldera, like all dormant titans, keeps its own counsel. Its memory is deep, its patience legendary. Are we, with our technologies and ambitions, stewards of this place or mere sojourners? What cost will our era pay for the riches we draw from the volcanic heart of this land? Is it the lithium we unearth or the restraint we practice that will define us when the ledger is tallied? Geologists offer a sobering perspective. The deepest risks for McDermott are not dramatic eruptions, but complacency and the illusion of certainty. It is tempting to believe that what has not moved in millennia will never move again. Yet the lesson of the West is otherwise. The land changes quietly by inches and degrees, and those who dismiss its subtleties often pay the greatest price. As machinery and science press deeper and further, a single truth endures, the earth remembers. In the legacy of every eruption, every quiet interval, every return of life, the ground preserves its story. In the dust and shadow of the caldera, the next chapter has yet to be written. The land's greatest secrets still sleep, waiting for discovery or disturbance. Whether we approach with heedless urgency or thoughtful reverence will determine not just the fate of a mine, but the story of a region, and perhaps the measure of our stewardship over the oldest powers of the earth. Stay restless, keep questioning, and remember, even as we celebrate innovation, it is the dangers we do not see, resting beneath the bones of ancient fire that may one day shape our world most of all. If this story moved you, challenged you, or made you think twice about the ground beneath your feet, subscribe. We're uncovering the world's forgotten warning and hidden wonders, one layer at a time. Join us on the next journey, because what lies beneath may change everything.